My next guest uh, has got, got an Emmy nomination today, didn't she? Yeah. Unlike us. And, uh, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, she's in uh, HBO's House of Saddam. That's what she got the nomination for. And then she, uh, she's in a new film, The Stoning of Soroya M, which is in theatres now. Please welcome Sheree Ogdoshlu, everyone. <laughs> Did I, did I pronounce so your name properly? You did a great job. Really? Fantastic. Can you just Crazy say, an, say and anything you like and I'll just sit here for a minute? <laughs> Mashallah. Mashallah to you. God too. gives you more. I love your energy. I was watching you. I watch you every night, of course. But today I had the pleasure of watching you in the afternoon and it was just incredible. It's the same feeling. Doesn't make a difference. Like whether it's in the middle of the night or in the afternoon, you're still, um, you know, you're killing. I was watching you and you had, you have so much energy. And I said, Mashallah. Mashallah to you mashallah. too, madam. <laughs> God gives you more. I, I think he's given you a fair amount as well. I, uh, that is a, the, a, a, do you do a lot of uh, voiceover work in your, when you're not uh, acting, proper acting? Do you do it? Because that's I amazing. I read not a lot, but I love reading books on tapes. I do. Oh, yeah, I, 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 anything at all three. that you've... I've what are they? Because I'd like to get them. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You would help a lot. Carmen bin Laden wrote this uh, Inside the Kingdom. She is married to Islam bin Laden, uh, Osama's brother. Uh, I might not get that Inside one. the Kingdom. <laughs> but it, it, trust me, it's, it's a good one. Oh, that's the... You learn, oh, yes, yeah. yes, no, I remember hearing about this book. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Uh, the second one is uh, uh, Blood of Flowers. It's about a 17-year-old uh, girl in Iran in 17th century. She's just a naughty, but she wants to be a designer. Right. When uh, the um, industry of, of uh, carpet making is only at the disposal of man and she becomes successful. She becomes a carpet maker. Oh, a carpet oh, maker, that, absolutely. Oh, that's a designer. Awesome. She wants to be a designer. Like actually. Isaac Mizrahi. Like Isaac Mizrahi. Yeah. But not as good of course. Well what's interesting is when Isaac Mizrahi was here I thought I might I thought I might be getting a little gay, but I think I'm cured. <laughs> Let me just stipulate, oh let me just stipulate that that was a joke and in no way am I inferring that you have to be cured from gayness, it's not an illness. <laughs> Well, I, I can't say anything. I don't know because uh, apparently, according to uh, Mr. Ahmadinejad, we don't have gays in Iran. So oh, that's know. true. Yes. You, you, uh, you are from uh, Iraq. Well, was or it Persia yes. when you were called were, when you left? Or Persia. Was... No, it was Persia up until uh, early 1900. Then the Shah of Iran changed the name to give it a new identity. Right. But I still rather say Persia because when I say Persia, I remind you of 1001 Nights and Shahrazad and all those beautiful oh, yes, stories, you do, yes. rather than Iran, as of espionage and terrorism. So. Yeah, no, that's, oh, God, help you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> so, oh God. Yeah, but you, you, you live in L.A. now then, right? Yes, right. I live in L.A. Right. It's beautiful, uh, I love it. I live in the suburb. It, it feels very much like country, like Hampshire it does, or, or, it does, or Denham. It does. Or did you, did, so you, you, left, uh, you left Iran at the time when the Ayatollah came to power? No, he, uh, he wasn't. He wasn't uh, even coming. But the rumor in the air was that he was coming. Oh, so you left before France. he got there. So the airports were shut down. I had to drive out. I called a childhood friend of mine and I said, Maddie, would you be willing to drive out with me? And he said, you're crazy, I'm crazier than you. Let's do it. So we drove from Tehran to Turkey, Istanbul, from Istanbul to Yugoslavia. Back then it was Yugoslavia. Yes. We were going to go to Germany. All of a sudden Germany announced that they, they needed uh, a visa for Iranians. So oh. we didn't have any. Yes. Well, I went to Venice, Venice, south of France, south of France, Paris, Paris, Calais, That's uh, one of the most romantic travelogues I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, by the way, days. by the way, congratulations <laughs> on the, on the nomination. So yeah, much. that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
It's really something, isn't it? Amazing. Yeah, no, it's great. Amazing. And I and I saw I saw that uh, that uh, that miniseries, The House of Saddam. It was fascinating. Thank Absolutely you so fascinating. Much. Did you do a lot of research into Saddam. It's a good one. Yes, yes. I wrote, uh, I read two books on, on Saddam. One written by an Iraqi, the other one by an English writer. And yet, at the same time, uh, BBC provided us with lots of uh, tapes of them visiting places. You know, them having parties. And I used lots of clips on YouTube. Lots. Of, of 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 uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Hussein? Yes, uh, Sajida. Sajida. Yeah, yeah. Where, where where is she now? She is somewhere in the Middle East. They're not uh, saying exactly where she is because apparently she's got warrant uh, issued against her. And I she's can't think why. Bath party. Well, w she's was still she helping back? Is the bath party illegal now in Iraq? In, in, no, it's Iraq. Is it, are they illegal in Iraq? They're not they? illegal, but they don't, you know the government does not like them to be fed by you know external uh, powers. Right. Like and that. and what about the situation? Do you still have family in Iran? My mother is still in Iran. This morning I was trying to tell her what Emmy is. And yeah. I'm like, Mom, this is like Oscar for TV. Yes. And she goes, it's very important. Very, it's very, very important. Very important. Said, That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's very important. That, and and, and is, your, is your mom okay? Because there's a lot of turmoil going she's on there fine. right now. She's fine. Yeah? She's fine. She's, uh, she's an uh, you know, um, old lady, as according to her stuff. She goes, every time I say, I'm worried about you. She goes, oh, I'm an old lady living in the suburb. No one will come here. So. <laughs> That's exactly the line I use as well. I <laughs> I'm an old lady now. Oh, yeah. that's uh, that. And uh, are, you, are you gonna? Is she gonna come over for the Emmys? Are you gonna get her to come over for the? Uh, she was gonna come anyhow, but um, yeah, she's coming. That's I'm going fantastic. To England that's to bring fantastic. her over. It, it, it's delightful to meet you. I can't. I can't wish you enough a good luck on Thank the. Uh, so on, what's the phrase again? God gives you more. What's that? Moshallah. Moshallah. Moshallah at the Emmys. Thank and, you and, so much. And you can come here anytime. Thank you. Would love to. Yeah, anytime would you like. To. All right. Right. Definitely. We'll take a break. To. Now, help me you say it right. Sharia, and what, how do I pronounce your second name? You're familiar with Ugg Boots. Ugg Boots? Ugg Boots, yes. Say Ugg Dashlu. Ugg Dashlu. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Sharia Ugg Dashlu, everybody. We'll be right back. What? <laughs> Please welcome Sharia Ugg Dashlu, everybody. Sharia Ugg Dashlu. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you oh, too. It's lovely to hear you too. Oh, likewise. Thank you so much. Before we go further, yes. A dear friend of mine, a childhood friend of mine who still lives in Tehran, Iran. Yes. Send uh, her love. Oh. Uh, send me an email saying that I heard you're on uh, his show. Yes. Uh, and I want we're going to TiVo it, and I want you to tell him that he is the best, and I love him. Oh, my nice. name is Marjan from Tehran, Iran. What's her name? Marjan. Marjan. Hi. <laughs> I'm glad. Does she talk like you? She's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, sorry, no. <laughs> Can I say that even although David Beckham does smell lovely, and he does, I don't know if you met him. But yes, I, I did have but, a chance. To but uh, you smell fantastic. Thank you. I mean, really, it's it the moment I was watching it. The yeah. moment you sniffed him, I thought I, I have to do this. What? So I went on and put some nice. Well, well may I sniff you? Not working. Oh, let me try one more. <laughs> I might have to go a little closer. By all means. All right. No, oh. <laughs> oh, it's very, very Thank nice. You. It's very. <laughs> it's very nice. No, Thank you've got you. the Emmy buzz going on for for. Now that means they're going to give you an Emmy, but they gave you an not Emmy. Not necessarily. Uh, yeah, they not they me one, and I'm still appreciative of it. And it was such a moment. Delicious. Yeah. There's nothing more delicious S but slow down. Being Just slow down. Yeah. Just say delicious again. Delicious. Yeah. There's <laughs> nothing more delicious but uh, you know by being uh, honored. Honored absolutely. by your by, by and your, voted by your own peers. By your own peers. By yes, own they, peers. that's what they always say at the Oscars. I've never had the opportunity to say it myself, but I'm sure it's a lovely thing to say. Thank you. <laughs> Who did you thank when you were up there? Well, uh, it's usually, you know, formal. Um, your agent, your right, manager, right. your people who've helped you to get there. Then you fire them the next day, right? That's the Hollywood <laughs> way. You, you thank them. It all them depends. It all depends. Right. Whether you're just. Uh, Pretending that you uh, thanking them, or you really thanking them? Well, you were really you, mean what, it. what were you doing? Were I you really doing? meant it. I love people whom I work with. So, really? Yeah. 
each and every one of them. May I meet them? By all means. Yeah. <laughs> no, that'd be nice. Now, the reason is that I do believe life is very Chekhovian. Oh, okay. That people are innocent, and yet at the same time, they could be blamed for their wrongdoings. So I decide to like them before I hate them. So you think then the, uh, the innocent or guilt of the, uh, forgive the expression, douchebags of Hollywood is a, <laughs> is a matter of perception rather than actual guilt or innocence? Well, it could be, absolutely. One has to be really careful not to get confused in here. Well, I was very, very cold and bitter until David turned up and melted my cold Scottish heart. <laughs> And then you turned up with your amazing perfume and your lovely brooch oh, here as well. That's how it is. And, and all the other you things have such going great on. Taste. Yes. Of course, a handsome gentleman like yourself can. I feel yeah, we should smell. throw to a commercial break and get the hell out of here, to be honest. <laughs> now, listen, uh, do, you, do you go back to uh, Tehran often? Have you been back there? No, I'm afraid no, you, not. You, you no, can't. That's right. Yeah, 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 there's a bit of, uh, bit of bother over there. Yes, yeah. Just a little bit. Well, a little bit. Annoying, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you you uh, you live in Orange County, is that right? No, I live in LA. Oh, I thought you lived down in Orange County. Oh no, oh, I so you're actually closer than uh, that. Much closer, yes. Oh, that's good. Uh, actually, to know. Calabasas. I've got a little one running around right now, you know. I heard so yeah, four and yeah. a half months. Four and a half months. Yeah, oh. he's he's a noisy little spud. Oh. Uh, <laughs> You've got one, one daughter, haven't you? Yes, she is now uh, going to Chapman University. Really? She's a big girl now. Yeah, you must be very proud. Before you need time flies. Yeah, I know. One blink, you turn around and they're taller than you and they tell you what to do, what not to do. <laughs> well, this sounds awful, actually. Yeah, yeah, and if you don't do it, they say, I hate you. Yeah, yeah, I know. First time I heard it, I took it so seriously. Yeah. I was really offended. I'm like, really? You really do hate you me? You really do hate yeah, me? No. Mom, just... It's, know, an just yeah, yeah. it's an expression. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So what is she studying then? She's study, uh, studying filmmaking. She wants to be a director. Oh, right. Then she really tell you what to do then, won't she? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. At her disposal. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> nice. All my life. Did you ever fancy that, directing films? Never, no. To be honest with you, no. No, I'd rather be on camera than behind the camera. I find that refreshingly honest. <laughs> I'm rather fond of you, as you know. The feeling is mutual. I you know, know, I know. <laughs> I become aware of a certain chemistry between us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. So, um, so there you are then. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Do you still have your dogs? My dogs, yeah, 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 all three of them. You got any? Yes, no, not now. I did have uh, three: one in Iran, one in England, and one here. All German shepherds. Oh, I've got a German shepherd. I yeah. love German. Yeah, no, I, I've got. So smart, aren't they? Yeah, they're well, not that smart. Do you talk to uh, him? Well, I do talk to him. Yes, I, I he mean, understands, right? Yes, he kind of does actually. Does yeah. he cry sometimes? Do you feel him like crying? <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I mean, he kind of. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> but you know what he's saying. No. Maybe others don't. Well, well, kind of. Yeah, I suppose I do. But I've also, uh, the, really, my attention is mostly taken up by my French bulldog, who's a very farty, whiny little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you call him? What would you? Uh, mean? Well, it's a she. It's a cabbage. <laughs> Well, it wasn't me. It called my what son. My son called her cabbage because it, she smelled like it's a cabbage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But have you ever danced with your dog? Danced with my dog? Uh -huh. Why, madam, I never have. I have. Well, how do you dance with a dog? Tango. Put his paws on my shoulder and move one to the right, one to the left. And he loved dancing. The one in Iran loved dancing to the Adagio by Albinoni. You've lived a, <laughs> a very different life to me. Indeed, yes. Tangoing with German shepherd dogs yes. in Iran while I'm stuck you. here telling you. jokes to an appliance. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time already. We're out of time already. That's it. Are we? Yeah. Aww. So uh, it only remains for me to say, um, mouth organ. Um, <laughs> uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, or um, glittery ball. Well, awkward pause. Okay, well, let's do awkward pause with restrained sexual subtext.
be honest, I kind of gave you a fright when I turned up that close. <laughs> <laughs> Sharia Dushlu, everybody, we were right. She's a good friend of the show. Please welcome Sharia Dushlu, everybody. Sharia Dushlu. <laughs> Sensational! I love this. Whatever. Uh, what so is, much, this is your favorite color. You said you like. I blue. do like. Uh, I do like I blue. I chose it because you like it. Well, I've seen blue in, in, on other things, and I didn't like it as much as I like it now. Oh, I, thank I, you. It's it's ex and and pe so glad you like it. Yes, that's right. Just keep, just keep talking. A little you bit. like yeah. it. I'm so glad you like it. You do have a lovely voice. When you get a cold, you know, if you get a, a cold or a sore throat, does your voice go normal? <laughs> That's a great one. No, not really. No, all right. You would have a hard time understanding me when I have a cold. Uh, really, it's very... Uh, <laughs> it's a very, um... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you go to a barbecue today? Were you doing anything? I'm afraid not. No, I was making myself ready for you since early morning. <laughs> really? Because it's, it's way after midnight now. And... <laughs> Of course, it yeah, takes, yeah. you know how long it takes for a woman to get ready. I can't imagine it would take you very long at all. Hours, probably. yes, it's but... No, five, ten minutes. Uh, yeah. Well, not, 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 not when it's for you, no. It takes hours when I'm making myself ready for you. Because <laughs> something about this is making me feel very good indeed. <laughs> and I'm that's glad. Good. Do, you, do you normally, uh, are you a night owl? Do you normally stay up late at night? I do. Because it's very late now. I do, especially when I, when I write. I'm, I'm writing my memoirs, as you know. So oh, yeah, no, we're, I thought yes. you were finished, though. Uh, almost. All right. Uh, third draft, so far. Third draft? Usually it takes five, I heard. Oh, I wrote mine just like, boom, boom, done, gone. Well, you're great. No, no, you no, no, it's it. not that. It's just I have a <laughs> profound uh, disregard for quality. I... Uh, <laughs> I read it. I read As it. you can see, yeah. uh, clearly. Yeah. No, it's you, it so you really, <laughs> this is about your flight out of the, uh, well, what was it? It was in uh, Iran, that's right. Yes, yeah. leaving Iran, getting myself educated in England, and then moving over to U.S., getting into Hollywood. Uh, the story of this little girl who came all the way from the Middle East with great yeah. expectations. Yeah. Do you, do you feel you've, uh, you've met your expectations? Have things worked out the way you would Yes, have? look, I'm sitting in front of you. Of course oh, I have. Yes, I know. This is, <laughs> this is the big time well, now, Sheree. Right. There you are. Yes, I know. There you are. Me, know. the robot skeleton in the basement. Everything. Of course, yes. No, I and know. midnight. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yes, of course, yeah. <laughs> yes. Under the stars. Although, if we were under actual stars, we'd probably be better lit. We're fine with lit stars. I know, it's fine. <laughs> now, uh, what about the summer? Are you got any big plans for the summer? Are you going out anywhere or doing anything? Uh, oh, yes, absolutely, yes. I'm uh, flying to Spain. Spain? Yes, yes. How marvellous. I like I Spain. Spend a couple of days in Marbella. I miss it a lot. I used to go to Spain a lot when I was studying in London. I haven't been to Spain for almost 20 years now. Do you go to see the, uh, to see the bullfighting? I'm afraid not, no. no that's no. not, uh, no, I can't. I no, can't no, 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 absolutely. No. Uh, no. There's so many beautiful sites, beautiful places. I know. Do you know ocean. what's good in Spain? The oranges. Oh, great. And they're the greatest fantastic. oranges. No disrespect, Florida, but Spain's oranges, <laughs> Honestly. they are yes. fantastic. Yes, yeah. yes. Now, do you go to the southern part or the northern part of Spain? Both. It depends on whereabouts my friends are going or, or if there's, you know. Have you ever been to Pamplona? No, where is that? Pamplona's in, in uh, Basque country in the north, and it's, uh, it's where they have the running of the bulls. I went there once when I was drunk. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for a now week. You're, yeah. Now you're blaming it on alcohol. No, it wasn't the alcohol's <laughs> fault. The alcohol was just a passive uh, contributor to an otherwise spectacularly dangerous week of... Uh, <laughs> uh, because, you know, they run the bulls uh, through the streets, and uh, drunk right. idiots get in front of them. <laughs> but I didn't get hit by any. What about the oh. art? Do you go and see the art? Of course. Are you a fan of the 20th century masters? Picasso, Dali, all oh Spaniards? Oh my god, yeah. uh, Tate Modern. Uh, yeah. Actually, no, that, was, that wasn't Tate Modern. Uh, the old Tate. Right. Tate Gallery. In London. In London. 
had a great exhibition uh, of Picasso. Unbelievable. Nothing like that I had ever seen. I love life. a bit of Picasso. I've seen a lot yeah. of Picassos. Uh, have you, the, they have a Picasso museum in Barcelona in Spain. They do, yes. Which is very good because you go in and they have the, the paintings arranged chronologically. So it starts off with mm -hmm. stuff his mom used to put on the refrigerator <laughs> and goes all the way <laughs> to the stuff that he liked. That's all right, It's yes. really cool. Yeah, 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 yeah it's great, it's great. Do you paint yourself? I mean, do you paint yourself? No. I mean, you, <laughs> no. Have you ever, though, painted yourself? Yes, I have. Really? I used to a lot, yes. Yes, of course. All my um, uh, you're quite uh, sparkly. Is that natural or no? All day I was doing. I'm telling you, an hour, it took me hours to make myself ready for you. I, I just wanted to shine. Lovely. Is that some Thank form you. of sparkly paint? Powder. It's powder. Yes. No, I can't paint, but I collect paintings. Oh, you do. Yes. Oh, love. Doesn't paintings. that cost a lot of money? Uh, not really. It depends on your taste. You know, you don't have to go for expensive materials. You can always find nice, reasonable. Reasonably priced paintings. Art. Arts. Well, well, arts. Well, well. arts in general. What? Arts and antiques. Or I antiques. Do you like antiques? Love them. Do you go antiquing? Of course. You've, got, you've, got, you've got gay I friends, see. haven't you? Yes, <laughs> yes, you have. Of course I do. Yes, you have. Most of Pasadena my friends. Flea Market, of second Sunday, everyone. Come on. <laughs> Portobello. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes, no, yes. it's not. Marshall Puss in Paris, Portobello in London, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And I do you have a, are you a hoarder then? Or you, do you, is your house full of... <laughs> No, just a couple. Well, what kind of things do you like to, do you like to collect? What do you get? Um, vases. I love vases. Yes, mm, vases right. and and uh, and jewelries. Jewelry. Not not uh, like custom jewelries. Not like real jewelries. I right. Not like them, big but... chunky pearls. Yes. <laughs> 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 no, I'm sure. You, I'm sure there's been a bit of jewellery come your way in your life, hasn't there? Of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, uh, we're out of time. How about uh, awkward pause or a mouth organ or uh, do you want to go for the big cash prize? Well, I did. I failed in doing the awkward pause last night. I don't think you failed at so, all. You know, did you like it? Oh, I liked well, it I very much. A harmonica. I, I know I can't play it. I have to tell you this story. I was walking down the Champs Elysees once with a friend of mine, and I bought one of these harmonicas from a street vendor who was playing a fine tune on it. I bought it and I started playing it, and I'm all. I could hear was a and I'm like, oh, he was a crook. This, this, no, is, no, this no. isn't working. And my friend said, look, sorry, he sold you the instrument, not the art of playing it. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, so I don't know. know. You, <laughs> a, you can have a quick blow on this one if you fancy practicing. <laughs> no, I know I'm not. I suck at it. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> suck, blow, it's all good. Anyway, uh, well, do you, want, do you want to go for the... Uh... The box. The box. <laughs> the box. <laughs> no. Don't go for the box right away. You work your way up to the box. Okay. Do you want to go for the big cash prize? That's the box. How much are yeah. we talking about? F 50 bucks. That's quite a lot. Right, listen, you, $50, a couple of gay friends in Pasadena Flea Market, you're a millionaire. You are right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. All right. What Let's time is it, Shadow Steve? It's time once again for the big cash prize. It's all in quarters. In quarters, yeah. Wow. So, you know, you could pay for parking with it. No, I want to go to Las Vegas. You want to go to Las Vegas yes. with this? Slug machine. Jiling, 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 jiling. <laughs> Utterly charming. All right. <laughs> Two ways to win. You can either uh, guess what's in my box or you can answer a question. Um, a question, simple, box, guess, thing, Jeff, you know. I like to play around with your mind. <laughs> Yeah, I think you've been doing that for a while, actually. <laughs> all right. So uh, I'm going to imagine uh, a box in my head, all right? But how do I know that it, uh, this is all right? I've said, I mean, if, if I say something and say it wasn't in your box, then who else knows that what's in the box? J Jeff. Jeff knows oh, that, what's that, in the somebody box. Somebody knows. Okay. Yeah, Jeff knows who's in the box. <laughs> Ooh, your dress matches my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delighted. See you at the flea market. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you'd be a big hit in Pasadena if you go. Uh, you take Jeff, you'd get forty dollars for him up there. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, I'm imagining a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Jeff, do you have the box? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What is in the box? <laughs> Look, just take the damn money, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs>
memoir, The Alley of Love and Yellow Jasmines, is in stores now. <laughs> well, everything I say sounds dirty, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's the accent. It's not dirty at all. I just said, The Alley of Love <laughs> and Yellow Jasmines. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do now, center man? <laughs> Sheree Dashlu, everybody. Sheree Dashlu. Hello. You look nice. It's always a pleasure to hear your Thank voice. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm a bit uncomfortable. It's the first time I'm wearing jeans, but I was told that I look younger with jeans. So well, you you look to... you look. I was thinking how legs you, legsy young you look. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you talk to me, I start going. Oh, oh, oh. Moi aussi, me too. No, I don't know. No. Listen, you've been talking about this for, for a while when you've been on. Every time you're on the show, you're saying, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And you've done it. Finally, Congratulations. two years. It's you your... know how it feels when you when you finish your last sentence. Your yes, I, uh, I, I mean, then, I mean, I wrote, this is an autobiography, of course. That's right, yes. Right, so your story all the way from uh, Iran before the revolution. Uh, from Oscars to Iran to before the revolution. Do you start with the Oscars? With the Oscars, right. Yeah, all right. With that... today's, today's life and then... Obviously, travels in. Are you going to do a book on uh, an audio book of this? I would love to. Yeah, yes, I think I'm you probably least. should. Yeah. I should. Yeah, yeah. Let's okay. try it out a little bit. All right. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, just read that sentence there. Is that all right? Can you? Grandfather believed that true dervishes are revered people, not only for their spiritual journey in life, but also for their courage to strip off their titles and possessions. Okay. Yeah, I think you should definitely do an audio book and then maybe even read it a little bit slower. slower. Yes, yes. Okay. How are you? I, I direct mean, me, direct me when I'm re reading. I'll direct you. Yeah. Yeah. We should work with each other. Yeah, all, all right. Some acting. Too. I can't do acting. You can't? No, that's you can't, why I do this can't. now. I... Oh, you, you'd be a great, fantastic actor. No, but no, I tried acting and they threw that. me out. <laughs> nah. Yeah, no, that's I had to leave. True. Yeah, are you, you're still out. What are you acting in now then? Are you in that swimming movie with Bill? No, I'm afraid not. No, no that's no, a shame. No. <laughs> no, but I'm working with John Stewart now. You are working with yes. John Stewart? I'm in John Well, I look forward to you getting your Emmy. Thank you so much, but Oscars, that's a movie. Oh, oh is that? It's a movie. Oh, is the movie you're doing that movie that John's doing? Yeah, oh, with, that's yeah, great. He's such a nice man. He reminds me of you so much. Well. Such a nice, so humble. Well. So humble. He is very lovely, actually. He was very nice to me when yeah. I was starting. He had me on his show when I was starting on this show. Really? Yes, he was very pleasant. Lovely man. Yeah, he is. Bastard. He is. <laughs> so, um, did you find it very difficult writing? Uh, because you've had some kind of hard times. I mean, the yes. Iran before the revolution and then getting out before the Ayatollah came in. Did you guys pass each other on the way? I'm afraid no, we didn't. No, I, I left uh, driving. Um, I left Iran driving out. I drove to uh, Iran, Turkey, Yugoslavia. Back in the time, it was Yugoslavia, and then went to uh, Venice, Venice, south of France, south of France, Paris, Paris, Cairo, London. But the Ayatollah flew from France to Iran via Air France. Wow. Um, thanks, France. <laughs> <laughs> Did you I really mean it? What? Did I really mean it? Thanks, France. No, I like France for a lot okay. of things, but sometimes politically I question what they're up to. <laughs> um, so um, ultimately, then, it's a, I guess it's a good story, though. It's a happy ending, isn't it? You go from, you know. It's a success story, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you, are you an American now? Yes, You're an I, American am, citizen? I am an American citizen, yes. And you, do you remember what you said in your uh, one-man show? Um, be we a revolution, right? A wee oh, bit of revolution, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Bit of, that was years ago now, though. I can't yes, remember any that of that. When we become citizens, uh, that you said that you love America, but now you, you love America even more. Yeah, when it's you like, become a citizen, it's crazy. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Isn't it's isn't like, it? yeah. Exactly. It's funny. I, when I became a citizen, it's like when people convert to a religion. Like people who grew up Catholic. Catholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but people who grew up Catholic are like, yeah, weaver, you know, wine, whatever. <laughs> but people who become Catholics are like, oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And what was the prayer? You said, you said uh, they, they pray, they pray even more. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they uh, I can't remember. They, I, I yeah, love yeah, yeah. the prayers, yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's your book. We're not, not talking about a three-year-old stand-up <laughs> special of mine. But so, I love that. <laughs> that's good. Have you, would you ever think of performing it live? Like, you know, doing a one-woman show, acting out? I have done a one-woman oh, show. Have? I wrote a one-woman show uh, in 96. And about your life? Uh, about my life. Uh, seven stages of a woman's life. Mine and a couple of friends. What stage are you in now, then, if there are seven stages? Uh, well, this is madness. I would call it... I wasn't aware that was a stage <laughs> in a woman's life. Yes. I look forward to your angry letters, but please feed the cats first. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, is madness a stage in a woman's life? Yes, it is, because uh, you get to the point that uh, you realize you, you want to do everything that you haven't done before. And uh, you want to do things that were, you would do to do and you haven't done. And you don't have that much time. What do you so want to do that you haven't done? I want to I do a movie with you. Uh -huh. I want to do... Uh, <laughs> Let's, let's keep it real, all right? Uh, we'll no, 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 I'm kidding. Right. <laughs> all right, so uh, a movie with me, obviously. That's a lot of you. people want that. Uh, um, my second book, Working Against the Odds. I've already started it. Have you, are you reading, uh, writing your second? or? I've written my second. I'm on my third. Really? Well, third reading. Third reading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, the book, you and, and uh, I want to do a play. Yeah? Uh, but, what, but not worky things. What about, is there anything in your own life that you haven't done? That's, that's all left. Really? Yeah. yeah. What about Disneyland? You ever been to Disneyland? Many times. Oh, well, then you're I fine. I love Disneyland. Yeah. I'm fine. Pass through, yeah. Mm. Well, we're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not us as human beings, I hope. But, uh, you know, yeah. the commercial break. You want to do everything. I do want to, I, I actually think I have done everything. I know exactly what you mean. No, I mean everything. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did know, I've been sober for a long time now, and now they've got new drugs that I never took. Sheree uh, <laughs> <laughs> Doshlu, everybody, we'll be right back. I don't know, the show tonight really, for me, posed more questions than answers. <laughs> it's been a roller coaster ride for me. I, I thought I knew myself. I'm 47 years old. I, I thought I made no what about. Did, did you just all be there? <laughs> and then now I clearly don't. Because when Isaac's here, I'm like talking to Isaac. I'm thinking, well, maybe I'm gay. And then. <laughs> Then Sharia comes out and I'm like, oh, no, I'm not. 